Well, it's a beautiful November day here in Northern Ohio and I got all my Jensen 50s out for a photo and since I had them out, I figured I'd make a little video here talking about the differences and changes that happened to these engines through the years. This earliest engine over here is one that was probably built uh, between 1948 and 1950. Uh, the red magnet on the generator is what really gives it that date range. Uh, it's cloth cords, riveted boiler, tube sight glass, um, the horseshoe magnet generator with the red magnet puts it, like I said, in those years. Um, it has the solid wood breadboard base. Other than that, it's pretty basic. Model 50. <clears throat> so then, this next one here was probably built in the mid to late 50s. Uh, this one, same riveted boiler, uh, tube sight glass. Now the cord is rubber. Uh, the uh, magnet on the generator is the post-1951 three-piece magnet. The uh, engine is basically the same. The blue paint on the engine and the generator base is a little bit darker than the uh, earlier ones. This one here was pretty rusty and stuff, so the paint's not really in good shape, but uh, you can kind of see that. If you look close, you can see it was lighter colored. Um, and this one, of course, still has the uh, breadboard base. This one has the brass tag that has been changed from a Model 20 to a Model 50 because Tom Jensen didn't waste or throw anything out. And this one, even though it's older, has this newer tag on it, but that was added by a previous owner. So that's really the incorrect ID tag. It really should have a water slide Jensen decal. And then we get up to this one here, which is probably mid to late 60s. And now the face of the boiler has three round sight glasses. Still has a stay bolt going through the center. The uh, pressure gauge is basically the same gauge, but it's nickel plated. And of course, rubber cords on this. And this also has a third heater. The uh, previous older engines have two ceramic cartridge heaters, where this one has two ceramic cartridge heaters plus a blanket heater under the center of the boiler. Um, Generators the same. Boiler feed pump is the same. The uh, the outer end of the uh, piston valve and the steam chest has a plug in it, just to reduce some of the water dripping. The cylinder now has this oil cup on it. Previous engines did not. And this has the small aluminum tag instead of the brass tag. And the firebox and smoke box under the chimney are the copper tone brick faced uh, style. And then we move up here into the 70s. This one is a 1976. And I know that because I have the original box and some of the original newspaper packing that came with it, which is dated 1976. This engine now, the boiler end is convex, not flat anymore. The stay bolt through the center is gone. Still the same sight glasses. The uh, steam dome has changed its shape 
now it's kind of a rounded bull nose style where these were uh, kind of uh, cone shaped the earlier ones the gauge now is black again and the um, range of the numbers is like I don't know goes almost all the way around where the other ones were 180 degrees um, this has three heaters but they're all uh, immersion heaters that screw into the back of the boiler there is now a feed water cup and has the oil cup on the cylinder front end of the piston valve is plugged but now the back end of the piston valve has a flange packing on it and the feed pump piston has a flange packing instead of the earlier packing nut and the connection to the feed water pump is different it is a square block with a gasket under it screwed right to the top of the feed pump the connection to the boiler is the same as the others the um, I forgot to mention that on the 1960s the uh, the PTO pulley changed from solid brass nickel plated to a typical aluminum pulley The uh, drive pulleys for the governor on this 1976 have now changed to a larger diameter. Not sure why. Because um, they're still a one-to-one -one ratio. It doesn't change the speed or anything. So I'm not really sure why they did that. Um, generator is the same. Now these have a larger tag, the larger, more modern tag. I didn't mention that the, uh, the two earliest engines have a solid wood breadboard base. And then in the 60s, this engine has a double stacked piece of plywood and that's the way they've been ever since and then this last engine here was built on June 11th 1979 the date is right there on that tag and it is basically the same as the 1976 except for the addition of this personalized tag for the original owner. And of course this has a boiler drain valve that is not correct. I ordered a new one from Jensen Manufacturing almost seven years ago and apparently I'm never going to get one. So, there you have it, and the differences in the paint color is obvious between the blue and then these were a metallic shade of greenish hue, <laughs> and then of course they started painting the flywheels red. But uh, those are basically the differences and changes in these that these engines have gone through over the years so hope you enjoyed the video thanks for watching we'll see you on the next one